What is up everyone? Welcome back to Star Wars Until the End of Time. So we're going to leave the Diplo here. We got Mirage in the party in the last episode. By the way, I can make a, a weapon. I can get a weapon up to like, have like a ridiculous amount of EXP boost. I probably want to do that too. Because I want to get Mirage up some levels. We just got her, so... Wouldn't mind leveling her up a lot. Let's go to Aquios. All right. Oh, we got some uh, executioner enemies here. Um. Yep, Sophia. Rod is going to die very fast, unfortunately. That is what it is. I should probably control her, honestly. Look at that hammer of might spam. Did I? I think I examined these, right? Yeah, I think I did. Probably a bad idea to use Mirage. Oh, they could teleport behind me? Oh, speed hack. There we go. I think I'll do that too. I think when I go back to Aquios, I'll go to the workshop and, at, and make, make a couple weapons that have like EXP boost on them. You can get like a ridiculous amount of EXP boost. Alright, we got new, well, not really a new enemy. Because we fought these things in the arena. But, giant moth. Ooh, triple EXP, that's nice. Nice, Mirage leveled up. By the way, I don't really recommend using Mirage, but I'm just leveling up for, just because. He's actually been surviving, surprisingly. This enemy, this enemy already fought, so I'll just cut this battle out. Oh no, actually, this is a new, there's a, there's a new enemy here, Killer Moth. I love laser beam. Very good crowd control ability. People always talk about how like like um, Fist of Fury is a good stun locking ability where well laser beam puts Fist of Fury to shame pretty much because it can hit multiple enemies. You can't really hit multiple enemies with Fist of Fury unless they're like really close together. But Fist of Fury is a lot faster. And people don't like casters in the Star Wars games, and I don't really blame them. Because magic is terrible in the Star Wars games, unfortunately. Oh, 23,000 EXP because Mirage died. They obviously get more since there was just two of them alive. That's right, some reason a full party of female characters, alright.
Is this, I think this is paternity. Well, I, that's fine though, cause. Uh, we need to go to the workshop. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna make a uh, really powerful um, laser weapon with like EXP boosting stuff. I gotta figure out how to do it though. I don't re really remember how to do it. Okay, so I guess all you do is um. You select the weapon, right? And then you just go to accessory, ring right, ring of erudition, and then you just do it. And this will add the EXP to the weapon. Yep, see? And then you just do it again, right? I could have sworn there was like... Oh, it uses the ring up though, unfortunately. Uh, is there a way to not do that? Okay, I actually, I can actually buy those rings, so it's fine. Uh, I should be able to buy them anyway. Let me just go through the list here. I don't know if, do I have a dark crystal? I don't know if I have one of those or not. By the way, you can add this stuff in as well, like, well, that's probably not that good to add to it, add to anything. Well, I mean, like, 10% attack increase is obviously good, but. Approach of footwork, that'd be pretty good to add to your weapon. Uh, I don't know if you can add multiple of those, uh, I don't know how that works. I don't know if it's like some sort of limit or something. You can buy vendor's potions now. Growling fist cider. Combat training. There's some new items since I last, uh... Ooh, corn on the cob's good. Cold soap, I need to buy more of those. I don't know if I have a pitiful earring. <clears throat> There's also new weapons that we can buy, too. That I don't already have, so I need to go buy the weapon shop, too. Demonic Durian. Or we could buy Philosopher Stones. I don't know. Like, what's the... Like, what do they do when you add them to a... Like, is there any point to having them besides just giving them to Ansala? Like, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know about that. Liquid Flare Bomb. I don't think I have that. I don't have reducers either. Those might be pretty good. Mass reducers. Oh, I can't buy the rings here? Seriously, man? Can't believe that, man. Let's see what I do. Um, maybe I have to buy them here. But no, accessories are at the other shop, though. Oh no, you can buy accessories here, too. So maybe, maybe they're here. Barbarian's Helm, that's new. Cordon Scepter, I know that's new as well. I think Den Armor's new, I think. 
Not sort of think it's new. Uh. Well, I know Aeroglyph has that, um, has those rings. So I might be able to go to Aeroglyph to get some of those rings. Let me see if Paterni has them, too. I know I saw that, uh, that you could buy them in Aeroglyph. It says you could buy them here. But I didn't see any. Maybe they're just out of stock. Okay, I made a fairy ring with crafting. So it has minus 20% battle skill HP. So you can level it up one time. By the way, thanks thanks to Venus Wyvern who uh, said that. By the way, I, I asked a question in the during one of my videos about what the numbers next to the items were. Uh, you know how you like if you go here. Wait, let me see. Wait, how do I? Yeah, see how it says two there? That means you can upgrade it twice. So certain items can be upgraded to a better version. Anyway, I'm trying to craft those rings. Yeah, I made one there. You need 600, around 600 and something to make them. So you just keep cycling through until you get... Uh, 600. Takes a little while to do it, obviously. But I'm going to keep making those rings until I can fill out that... Fill out a laser weapon for uh, Mirage. So she can get a ridiculous amount of EXP. Okay, I made an emerald ring, so minus 20% battle skill MP use. Go ahead and get that, uh, patent before someone else does. Well, that one's actually better. Okay. Okay, I made a Eldritch Brooch. Bro brooch depicting a phoenix. Uh, that one was 8,330. It's kind of insane. Oh, a patent for that one too, sure. Intellect and agility, that's an interesting combination. I oh, like it could be a 9.9. .9. Alright, uh, let's see, um, okay, um, those combat training books, you get 40% EXP, but Fury Expenditure triples, so that's obviously really bad, but that's pretty good if you want to level, level up one particular character, so, yeah, we can go ahead and use that on Mirage, 40%. F 50%, I have, I got a couple of the rings on her, on, on that weapon now. I'm not sure the highest it stacks. Um, someone said that it was like 100%. So if I just add one more ring, I'm done. Since I get the 40% from combat training, I don't know. I, I don't know how high it stacks. Oh, okay, so apparently the EXP boost affects all your characters, not just her. So if I give her this, it'll affect all your characters. And the max, by the way, is 100%. So we already got 50% now, so I just need to make... Uh, 
a couple more rings. Uh, three more rings and then I'll be done. I'll have max EXP benefit. I didn't know it affected all your characters. And by the way, combat training only works. It does stack with the 100% EXP boost from weapons. But, uh, you have to get the final hit, apparently, to get the EXP boost. So. So whoever gets the final hit on the enemy gets the 40% boost, I guess. I don't, that's what I heard, anyway, from someone on the game FAQs. But anyway, I'm going to go see if I can buy some of those rings. Hopefully I can. I'm not going to show me doing that though, but I'll be right back. Alright, Mirage leveled up on Berserk and Electric Fist. Um, I'm on my way to like, Arius and um... Uh, what is it? Oh, we got a new enemy up there. Let's take it on, I guess. Blood monster. Actually, I guess we did fight this thing before. Bring in the Mirage. No! Ah. Uh, 26,000 EXP, wow. Wow, that's a lot of EXP. Wow. Crazy. Now I guess we got more because Mirage died, but still. Anyway, I'm going to go see if I can buy some of those rings. Alright, Mirage has leveled up Mirage on the way to Airy Glyph. Going to get her up some more here. Alright, so I've maxed out uh, laser weapon here with EXP anyway. Uh, I added an extra 10% by... S I didn't mean to do that though. That was the first one I added. I should have added 20% and then I don't, then I have a few extra slots for other stuff, but it's, it doesn't really matter too much. I don't plan to add anything else to it anyway. So. Trying to see what I want to equip on her now. Um. By the way, I made some crosses and everything too. Let me show you those. Yeah, I got actually a lot of stuff here. We have battle bonus ring. Oops. Ah, these are all crafting. Most of the stuff's crafting stuff. Let me speed this up. If it'll let me. Ring of Healing. Aqua Ring. Wing Bang Cross. Mage Bang Ink. Silver Cross. Yellow Talisman. Anti-Silence Amulet. 
And laughable bracelet by 0.1 on that one. Yep. We have Insala and he's first. <laughs> he hasn't even made that much stuff either, which is insane. He's only made like a handful of items. <laughs> Look at all that we've made. It's a long list. Rainbow Diamond, Green Talisman, Badge of Shielding, Fruit Parfait, Fire Discharge, Wind Discharge, Earth Homunculus, and Cinderella Tablets. Alright, so now we can level up Mirage pretty easily. Also, rest in peace my money because I'm out of money. By the way, I'm going to head to... Um, uh, what is it? I'm going to head to Aquios now. I'll meet you guys over in Aquios. And we'll head through that area. Be right back. I'm going to level up on the way. I'm not going to show me. I'm not going to show the level up that I get. But I'm level 35, 64, and 75. I'll show my levels whenever I get to Aquios. But I am going to fight a fight on the way there. So yeah, be right back. People have been unexpectedly calm in spite of the newly appeared monsters in the vile wind. I suppose they developed a deep trust in our kingdom after we defeated that social ship. Of course, the situation could always change. Yeah, I'm hearing Paterni. They're saying new things here. Programs that can evolve. Creations rebelling against the creator. Sounds like some clone hidden novel, but it's actually happening to us. I guess some bad joke. So up there's I sure hope the supper or about the monster settles down soon. I'd really like to go home. I should talk to people in Aeroglyph as well then. I didn't realize they'd have new dialogue. That's why Welch expects me to sweat and toll because she thinks I should thank you for bringing me into the guild. Then again, I don't think that's what she has in mind when she makes me work. I want I want the new Rossetti troop to make their debut here, but I'll need the approval of whoever's the big cheese around here. You know who that might be, Fate? I spotted Ganella immediately, so I thought it would be easier than this, but I can't seem to find anyone of importance around here. I've had it. They're always trying to get me to study. What they really should be worried about is how they are going to survive after they are all old and feeble. Do they really expect me to support them just because they get old? Making a wishing charm to wish for world peace is not anything wrong, wrong in itself. But charms are, after all, just... Okay, I think this person does the same thing earlier. So yeah, some 
NBCs have new dialogue and then others don't. I wonder if my papa is working hard. And about an hour later, I'm back. <laughs> I uh, was talking to a friend on Discord. And we kind of got lost in talking and whatever. But anyway, it must be hard for him. Okay. I don't understand how you can rely on such an arcane, imprecise art as Renology. Not me. Nope. I'm not interested. I'm the leader of the Fresh Bunch. We're the ultimate group of chefs. No one can beat us. Those idiots probably couldn't pop it properly unless I myself joined in. It's just popcorn. Nothing but popcorn. I'll show them how I risk my own life preparing food. Stand back and watch a master. Whatever you say, dude. By the way, you can never go to greeting in this game. I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I think I drink too much cider. Yeah, nothing, nothing really new around here. Maybe they're targeting this planet last because the sacred orb is here. So that means they'll be heading this way once the last star goes out. I think there's one more person. Yeah, there's one more person down here. Oh, it's Sophia. Aren't these flowers lovely, Fate? Somebody's putting a lot of effort into growing them. I wonder who they belong to. It must be really a kind of gentle person. Not necessarily. Just because someone grows flowers doesn't mean they're a nice person. I'm sure there's a lot of bad people who grow flowers. I mean, it may, like... It's more than likely a good person, but that doesn't mean they are... Necessarily. He, he, how ironic. The very God that people are dependent on is releasing monsters into our world. My friend was saying thank you because I was like, um, like, you know how like, well, I'll just say it. Um, we were basically having a conversation and I was like, uh, I've never told it. I've told other people no, but I've never told you no. Like, and it's in like, um, at, when someone asks me for something, right? Like, a lot of times, I'll say yes, but every now and then I've said no. But I never said no to the person I was talking to, and that's because I care about that person a lot, so. Uh, yeah. People I care about. I'll never tell them no. They can ask me for whatever they want. They need a hundred dollars. I'll give them a hundred dollars. You know, I just got done giving her forty dollars, and she doesn't even live here anymore. She lives up in Washington or whatever. So. The person I was talking to is my ex, by the way. I do want to go into the inn. Talk to the people there. See if they have anything new to say. Well, it seems my elegant dinner with the pretty lady is coming to an end. I regret that I must leave. But the sands of time are a cruel master. I some etiquette... etiquette. Etiquette, young man. You might even become somewhat of a gentleman. Welcome to you, sir. This is the front door. The oldest and most venerable inn 
and all the cotton in it. If I had known another war was going to break out, I would not have sold off the, all those weapons. I'm just gonna. I'm done talking to people, guys. This is like. I want to talk to them just in case there's any new dictionary terms, but they keep saying the same thing. Like, it's starting to get a little annoying. It's annoying how some people have new dialogue and other people don't. I don't know who has new dialogue, so it's like, it's kind of a, it's kind of frustrating a little bit. If they're gonna make like. The NPC said new things. Everybody should say something new. And that way I don't have to go around talking to every single person. Or that way I can go around talking to every single person. Without getting repeated dialogue, you know. It's just the repeated dialogue is kind of annoying. When some people have new dialogue. This is quite a busy town. It's probably too late to start worrying about this, but I wonder if it's such a good idea to show our faces in public this much. I just think we should avoid exposing ourselves as much as possible. Stop talking, dude. I didn't mean to talk to you again. So should I just end the... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is go back to the other towns and talk to the characters again. Just to see if they have anything new to say in the other towns, which they usually do. Usually in every town they have different dialogue. So I'll go back to the other towns and do the see what other dialogue they have in the other towns. Maybe we'll get a private action. Um, and then I'll probably end the video after that. What does HP this thing have? They're gonna be dead by now. There we go. 10,000 EXP. Mirage and... Uh... What's her fate? Mirage leveled up. Or Maria and Mirage leveled up. Sure, I'll get her MP up some. Get her MP up some too. What level are we at now? 76? We do get a pretty nice EXP boost. Alright, so we'll find the characters here. Better hurry up and get everything done with otherwise all their work will go to waste. Rumors sure smell funny, don't they? I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's kind of like a mixture of fur and lard. The holographic depictions of animals I've seen were not like that at all. I wonder if they're bathing them daily like they should. There are a lot of bugs on this planet, aren't there? They would have eaten me alive if Maria hadn't told me to bring some insect repellent.
When something is destroyed, it can never be restored to its original state, no matter how long you try. Learn that from previous wars. That's why we must continue fighting, so that this village does not sustain any more damage. My unit and the Storm Brigade are dealing with the monsters that are starting to appear in many areas. Even if defeated them all even if defeating them all is difficult, we can at least try to divert them no to uninhabited areas. People who really enjoy a good laugh are always able to find fun things to do. Seeing these people here makes me realize just how strong the human spirit is. Alright, so let's see. We still have to find Mirage Maria and Albel. Okay. We talked to the other, other, other party members already. Here's Tiny and Farlene. Those monsters sure are tough when they when you fight them by normal means, however, since they didn't come here to attack people or establish colonies, they could be dealt with rather easily by modifying the landscape or redirecting roadways. I don't know whether to say those monsters are tough or stubborn. It doesn't even seem like our attacks have much of an effect. No matter how hard we try, there are always more of them to place those we have slain. Is there anything else we can do besides trying to keep our heads above water? Okay, let's see. There's Maria. To think the two of us would of us would be swept up in a battle here on this planet to decide the fate of the galaxy. After all, we only met here by chance because of that Benini ship that attacked you. I somehow feel like it was destined to happen. Yeah, perhaps. Alright, so I have to find Albel and who else? Oh, the family's back here. I wonder if we're going to have to evacuate our village again. We've only just just returned. Yeah, they're, they're back here again. First war, now monsters. Can't take it anymore. Where are we supposed to run to this time? You know, Mama said she said it's too dangerous to play outside. There's nothing out there that's dangerous. <laughs> uh, actually, there is. But okay. Let me guess. Abel's in the chapel again. Nope. Stop talking. Who else do we have to find? Mirage, too. Abel and Mirage. Still. It must be in one of the one of the uh, like I'll probably maybe in here. Nope, here's Mirage. How much longer are we going to wander around like this? I don't think we have time for a detour right now. Oh, you check this shop for Albo? Because I haven't seen Albo yet. Where the heck is Albo? Is he just not here? 
If he is, I didn't see him. I went in every place. Or maybe we did speak to him, I didn't... I didn't remember. Alright, well, I'll probably just end the video here. In the next episode, I guess we'll go back to the other areas and see if they have anything new to say in the other areas. And then we'll head to uh, Aquios later.